Hi, Bill Romanski here. A little bit of classical music in the background. The, the good woman helps her, it helps her sleep. And there's the dog in there. Warner bed protecting her, Brian, our new dog. So I'm going to do a review on the Derwent Adventurer 20. And uh, I, hope, I hope you like it. I hope you like this harp. Because I think I do. So just listen. And I'm going to point out some things while I'm playing and remember them. That's just a little bit of fiddling around. The reason I said to re to remember what I was doing when I was up here, I noticed something on the other DeWent videos I saw. People were nailing it. it sounded shrill. Can't do it. From here to here, it's great. From here to here, you have to all the way on up. You have to use nuance. Uh, the reason I bought DeWent and this this 20, I was looking for a Romanesque harp, but something like a Romanesque harp because they can break the bank, of course. <laughs> you know, those handmade ones. So I just reviewed every video of every harp, and this one came in. Uh, Sounding more like a Romanesque harp. And those you play with nuance too. They aren't to be manhandled or woman handled. They're to be lightly caressed, especially on the top strings. So you'll notice in some of the other videos, when you get to the top, there's a shrill sound you don't like. Listen, I'll show you. Hear that blink, blink now. Now I have a leftover Oh look at it. I've been having to soak it in tannic acid because of chill blains on my fingers from doing some work on our new digs. But uh, you'll notice how harsh that is. How shrill. But if you go like this. which I notice on Roman S corps. There's a lot of nuance and a lot of touch that goes into the upper strings because uh, they aren't modern harps. This is built and has the sound of a Roman S harp in, in my book. And I have a pretty good ear for the stuff. I grew up in the studio uh, producing and recording and, and uh, I know what to listen for. And I know recording and I know this one will come across the recording like it sounds in real life. And uh, this is the DeWent Adventure 20. You like the Celtic Cross? Right. Almost thinking about, see, I got, <laughs> I got uh, Our Lady of Guadalupe here. I'm almost thinking, I don't know. I got that much Irish in me and like half Polish or quarter Polish. Maybe, I don't know. But look at that. Isn't that a great... Wouldn't that be a great tattoo right here? I'm thinking. So, I like the design. Now, some may put up their nose at plywood. It's airplane plywood. Which has a, a design element to it. And, and it ends up being a production element to the sound. So, $550 American... Inclu shipping included from Wales. I love these. Uh, these tuners are more than adequate. They're they're a pleasure. There's no you don't have to fight them at all. They just go where the, you need them to go. They don't loosen up and they aren't overly tight, and they they're very smooth. Uh, 
and the design of it, it fits well in my hand. I did want to buy a bardic type harp, Romanesque, and, and go into a little like uh, Celtic, maybe into uh, some Southern US stuff that I've been thinking about getting into. And uh, this is the harp for it, 20 strings. Not too complicated for a guitar player like me. And I'll tell you, it's not a toy. It's not a toy harp. This is a serious harp. Some serious design went into this. And they stuck with it. They stuck with the design, thankfully. And they stuck with it. You'll With the design, you'll be able to get one too. I give it two thumbs, three thumbs, four thumbs up. I say yes. To win Adventure 20. God bless y'all.